is Dr. Bev Knox and you are listening to my psychology tutorials. Learn psychology while you sleep. Behavioral patterns in negotiation may be understood in terms of tactics. There are no rules regarding when each tactic may be used. Some tactics are clearly competitive and manipulative. Some tactics are particularly helpful in closing the deal. When negotiation is in a representative capacity, it is critical that negotiators clearly understand the limits of their authority and refrain from substituting personal goals and ego for the goals and needs of the principal. Negotiators must also establish and maintain their own personal integrity Deceptive practices and emotional appeals may surface at any stage. Some people will attempt to gain advantage or employ unfair tactics. Certain conduct is clearly unethical. Any form of deception is unethical. Even though you maintain your integrity and refrain from misrepresentations and deceptions, you must not assume that the other side is necessarily playing by the rules. If the other side repeatedly shows unethical behavior, you have options and alternatives. Demeanor and body language, as well as verbal statements, are cues to a person's attitude. If both parties are attempting to set the same tone, things will begin to progress. Remember, however, that in a competitive negotiation, one or both parties may lose everything. If one party adopts a competitive tone, while one seeks a cooperative tone, the first matter to negotiate should be the tone that will prevail.